Okay, this is part two, so I'm gonna go ahead and just jump right in. I wanted to talk about this one. I showed this in the last haul at the very end and I didn't talk about it. I was kind of in a hurry at the end there. Kissing You, so I said it smelled like fresh picked strawberry, but it actually smells a lot like strawberry shortcake. The scent description is strawberry shortcake, strawberries and cream, whipped cream. It smells mostly like strawberry shortcake to me. I was getting confused because it smelled a lot like fresh picked strawberries right off the bat. But if you think about a strawberry shortcake, there is fresh, usually fresh picked strawberries on top. And then that, I'm trying to think of that yellow sponge cake that's underneath. So there's that. Okay, the first thing that I have in this this is actually from my third order because I I was feeling nostalgic af after I picked up my Purple Haze. I was like, oh my gosh, and there's still some like way old scents on there that have been around for a while. This one isn't. This is Zebra Gum. And this is Bubble Gum, Fresh Picked Strawberries, Blackberry, Blackberries, and Raspberries. This is the Chantilly Shatter. which is always super pretty. I haven't had any very many bubblegum scents. So this one kind of intrigued me. Mm, I do get a bubblegum scent. The first time I smelled this, I, I didn't really smell, like I didn't feel like I got the bubblegum that much. I felt like I just got more of like a fruity. Yeah, it does smell like bubblegum. Hmm. Yeah, that was kind of a last minute it was still on the site. I was ordering anyways, you know, how that goes. So I just ended up ordering one of those. Okay, I think I just stick that back there. The next one I have is Here Comes the Sun, which I talked about in my last video, which is, it's Rainbow Sherbert. Let's see if I can find it real quick. Of course, ugh. Just hang with me. <laughs> This is gonna be uh this is gonna be a mess. Okay, it's rainbow sherbet, orange sherbet, blackberry, and salt water taffy. And to me, it just smelled like ice cream, rainbow sherbet. That's mostly what I got. These blossom squares are so pretty. I really like that. I do smell a little bit more orange sherbet than I did in the four packs. Yeah, that's so weird how. You smell in a different form and it smells a little bit different. That one's really good. That one was another just kind of add on. I'm like, oh, I'm ordering anyway. So this is the one that I was like, I felt very nostalgic about because Rockford Peaches is probably one of the first scents Kirby ever did, I think. But I've never had strawberry Rockford Peaches. I remember having Rockford Peaches before and liking it. So it's strawberry pink chiffon, blushing peaches and cotton candy. This is like a sophisticated scent to me. You definitely get the peach. That's what it looks like. I love the color she chose for this one. If you hear that, that's the dog story. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of peach, but it's like a sophisticated peach. I don't know if I smell pink chiffon. I might be getting a little bit of strawberry. But yeah, this one I can see like warming. If you're gonna have people over or something, it just seems like a really sweet scent. The other one that kind of took me back to the beginnings of VCS were telling me banana. It has been so long since I've had this one. This is raspberry, guava, banana, daiquiri. This is one of the best banana scents, in my opinion. These vintage tiles are really cute too. I don't know why I like. To me, this is not like a candied banana or, uh, you know, people say runts, like a banana runt. This to me is like a true daiquiri. It's like a smooth banana. I really wish I would have grabbed this in a bigger quantity. I like this. Mm, really, really good. Kind of makes me want more banana scents, but I know nobody else, uh, everybody else's banana always turns out runty or like a, what's the word? Oh, I don't know. 
Let's see, the next thing I got, okay. So I grabbed another Purple Haze, which I talked about in my first part of the order, which I love this scent. So when I saw it was still in the scent, I'm like, you know what, let's just grab the second one. Because I know that one, I, I don't see that one poured very often. Oh, the sample I got was Grease is the Word. And this is like cake donuts. Uh, I don't know, super sweet, like cake donuts or something with sprinkles on top. It's very sweet. I got this in the last restock. This is a really, really sweet one. Okay, so the next thing I got was the, let's see. I didn't write the scent descriptions down, but I did screenshot. So this is the uh, Milk Glass Heart Quartet. And so the first one is Marshmallow Milk Glass. Look at how pretty that is with the glitter on top. So Marshmallow Milk Glass, which is Wildberry Cake Batter Sugar Milk Marshmallow. So that mostly smells like milk glass to me. That one's nice though. Really, really nice. I am obsessed with her milk glass right now. I don't know what's going on with my nose. That is not a scent that I would normally like gravitate towards, but. Okay, also in that sampler was a blackberry milk glass. So I love all the glitter she put on these hearts. Sometimes they come plain. Mm, that one smells pretty good. I, you know, blackberries kind of hit or miss for me sometimes, so. This one's probably not my favorite out of the group, but you know, you never know on warm. It might smell a bit better. Not like it smells bad, but Cookie Monster's Melt Glass, which of course is the Cookie Monster scent, which is sugar cookie, sugar cookie dough, buttercream frosting, sugar milk, wild berry cake batter. Oh, I really like this one. You know, I didn't think I loved Cookie Monster, but I kind of do. Mm. I really want these to cure now <laughs> so that I can, that's always like the worst part. I hate getting an order and then being like, yeah, I'll smell you in like six months. And then the next one is just plain milk glass. Love that I like I could stare at the glitter like all freaking day. Ah, oh, that just smells so good. Mm. It's almost got like a sugar milky like scent to it, but it's not. It's it says it's wildberry cake batter, so right? Oh no, wait, it is wildberry cake batter sugar milk. Okay, so that's where I, oh gosh, I am so out of it, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> So this was part of, and then I got another sample because I made three orders. So meet me in St. Louis. I'm trying to remember what this is. I want to say it's like brown sugar figs and uh, warm vanilla glistening snow. I don't know. This mostly smells like laundry like a sophisticated laundry, like a dryer sheet or, yeah. It's got a really sophisticated scent description, but when I smell it, I smell laundry. So there's that. Okay, cream cheese makes everything better, Dahlia Quartet. So the first one I got is cream cheese, Nilla Princess of Monaco, which Princess of Monaco is lemon curd marshmallow. And then I guess it's Nilla wafers and cream cheese. Out of all of them, this one mostly smells like Princess of Monaco to me. It's softened a bit by the cream cheese and the uh, vanilla, vanilla wafers. Yeah, but it, I mostly get that lemon curd marshmallow. So that one wasn't like that big of a deal for me. Next one we have is cream cheese, blackberry cookie monster. Let's see. Yeah. 
this one hmm I don't know this one has to cure I, I feel like I I can't really tell like I, I sort of smell the blackberry I'm getting the cookie monster but I'm not really getting the cream cheese too strong yet next one is cream cheese Tara and I think I really liked this one cream cheese Tara is oh it's cream cheese frosting, wild berry, marshmallow, and zucchini bread. Tara never goes hungry again. Oh, this one smells good. This one's really good. Here's her dahlia flowers. So pretty. Oh, I like that one a lot. That one is really good. I must be, you know what, for a while I didn't like wild berry mousse. I think I just got it from one particular vendor that just didn't smell good to me for whatever reason. Cream cheese Ralphie's, which is Ralphie's, what is it, his pajamas or something. Ugh. Where is it? I don't know. Anyways, cream cheese frosting, fresh picked strawberries, marshmallow sugar cookies, and vanilla bean Noel. Oh, it's Ralphie's bunny pajamas. This is probably my least favorite out of the group. It probably needs to cure a little bit. It's kind of light to me. I don't really know what I'm smelling, to be honest. And it could be my nose is all jacked up. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I'm not smelling fresh picked strawberries right off the bat. I don't know. You'll get a warm review on that one <laughs> later. Okay, so the last thing I have is when I saw that the fresh sampler was still on the website, the fresh and clean, I was like, why is nobody purchasing that? Like, that is one of the best. This is a great way to get a bunch of clean scents all at once. So the first one I got is Creature from the Black Lagoon, which is Amazon Rainforest Salty Sea Air. I'm just going to go through these really quick. Yeah, this one's very, it's got a sharp note in it, which is probably kind of like the, okay, where did it go? Which is probably like that Amazon rainforest scent. So there's that. Eloquent Eleanor, which I think is turquoise sky type. There goes my stomach. Oh, okay, Seagrass Salty Air Musk, which is Turquoise Sky. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, this reminds me of just a man's cologne. I'm not that impressed by this one, but, I mean, it is nice if you like, you know, you need something for, like, a man cave or whatever. Just Singing in the Rain. I have a coin of this that I got from my friend that I was like, you know, I'd really like it some more of this. Freshwater, Falling Rain, and Shimmering Blue Lagoons. I like this. There's something in here. Hmm. And it's another one of those sharp notes. Not like Creature from the Black Lagoon, but... I don't know. Maybe I don't like this one as much as I thought I did. I need to warm this one and see. I have a coin of it. It's not bad. There's just something in it that my nose isn't familiar with. Maria Von Trapp's Austrian Escape, which is Avo Bath from Lush. And yeah, that's exactly what it smells like. It's that lemongrass. I'm trying to think what else is in Avo Bath. I don't know. Yeah, and that's exactly what it smells like. This one's really strong. If you want like a strong scent, I have a feeling that one would warm really well now. Happy Days on Cape Cod, which is a blend of Cape Cod and Happy Days. Is that what it is? Um, yeah. Apple Mango Tango Clean Cotton Salty Sea Spray Sea Weather Driftwood Water Lily. Yeah, I don't know. This one I get a lot of clean cotton. Right off the bat and not so much Cape Cod. I have Cape Cod around here somewhere. 
I mostly get clean cotton off of here. Okay, Aunt Cheryl's Stormy Weather. I remember this is just a really nice... Oh yeah, that one's good. I, I always remember I like Aunt Cheryl's Stormy Weather. It's ocean Rain and Fresh Rain. I just like it because it's... I don't know, it just it smells kind of like a sweeter rain, you know, to me. And some of these other ones that when I talk about like a sharp note... Excuse me. Irma's clothesline was in part one. I won't talk about that one. Million Dollar Mermaid, which is fresh ocean water, sea berries, bergamot, and white musk. I have the dual loaf with the Million Dollar Mermaid and the Winged Mermaid. Yeah, this one has that bergamot. And the berries, you can smell that in there. Okay, and then Friar Lawrence's Potion. This is probably my least favorite out of this one. It's Cucumber Mint, Salty Sea Air, Eucalyptus Spearmint. I'm not a big fan of cucumber anything. I do get the Eucalyptus Spearmint pretty strong. And the mint. I remember when I first smelled this, I swear I could have smelled the cucumber pretty strongly in there, but now I'm smelling more of the eucalyptus spearmint mint. The next one is the winged mermaid, and this is shimmering blue lagoon, salty sea air, and coconut. I don't get a lot of coconut from this one. This one's kind of light right now. Let that one cure a bit and talk about it more when I do like warm reviews. Curse of the Bambino, which is fresh cut grass and, oh, fresh grass citrus. I remember warming this one. I don't like fresh cut grass or fresh grass scents, but I remember warming this one and I really liked it. The citrus really saved this one for me. It was nice, I, you know, because I don't like fresh grass scents anymore. And I remember warming this one and thinking, wow, I like this one, actually. The citrus saves it. And then the last one we have is On the Waterfront, which this one I'm surprised I really liked. Shaving cream, salty sea air, which I don't love shaving cream, but I think I might be a convert. Oh man, that one just smells really good. You really get the shaving cream. Oh, geez. This might be one that I like huffing in the bag, but not on warm. I don't know. I'll have to try it and see. But So that is the fresh and clean sampler. And yeah, that is it. Okay, so that is my haul from VCS this last go around. Again, I got a lot of great things. There's, you know, a lot more that I wanted to get, like... I wanted to get a second loaf of that Winged Mermaid and Million Dollar Mermaid, but I already have one. So I was like, okay, let me just warm through that one first and make sure that I love it. And then the Count Your Blessings and the Picture Tree Window, I think is what it's called. But I have half a loaf in that. So I'm like, well, I could still warm through that. She'll pour it again if people you know, request it or ask for it. So yeah, I'm super excited. I got some old favorites. Some things that remind me of when VCS like first opened. I, I don't think I was at her first opening when she first opened. I don't think I was quite into Wax It or I hadn't heard of her yet. But I think I got in about like a little bit when she'd been like a few months in possibly. But Rockford Peaches and Telling Me a Banana. Purple Haze. I think those were all like her first scents. And I like, oh, they're just some of like my favorites. So I got a lot of good stuff this time. I'm super excited about this. But when I was sick, I like, <laughs> I was like not thinking about wax whatsoever. I was just like, I don't care about that wax in there right now. Like I wanted to, but I just wasn't into it. So yeah, I, in fact, my warmers haven't been on in, I think two weeks. I think I posted like a little Instagram story that I was like, I was a little bit bummed because 
there has been no ax warming in here. When you don't feel good, like you really don't care, you know, you're just like, whatever. So yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will be back. I have a bathing garden haul and I need to figure out, oh, here's a question. I need to figure out what to do for my vendor pick of the week. I, I don't, I just don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to start with super tarts or if I want to do rose girls or Tiffany's. <sighs> I just don't know. Like I, I can't decide. So maybe if you guys want to chime in on what you'd like to see next. I do plan on doing some loaf cutting videos, some, hopefully some better, better looking because <laughs> I finally got a wax cutter so hopefully I can maybe practice with a loaf and see how it goes and then yeah I don't know so I do have a few videos coming up but I just I don't know what to do for my vendor pick of the week because I think probably in a couple days I'll feel like flipping on my warmers again so I'll get back into it then. But right now I'm still kind of like recovering, but I do feel a lot better, but still recovering. Okay, that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you ordered from VCS, what was your favorite scent that you got from this last restock? I, yeah, I, there's so many. I can't even say, like, pick one. They all smell really good to me. But anyways, okay, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.